This presentation will give a quick overview of the material readings and assignments this week in GP210 American Government 1. My name is Mark Olson and I'm a political instructor here at Grantham University. I'm just visiting your class this week for this lecture. It's very likely that I'm not your instructor for this class. Now if you have any questions about the material this week, please contact your instructor directly. You can find their contact information under the instructor information link in Blackboard. Your instructor is here to help you succeed in this course, so please do not hesitate to contact them with any questions you might have. It is not uncommon for disagreements to arise between people in a society. How are these disagreements settled, especially when the meaning of a law or a constitution is questioned? When these questions arise, who gets to make this final decision? This week we will be examining the judicial branch of our government. At the successful completion of this week's lessons, you should be prepared to first define liberty. Liberty is one of those words that we all use a lot, but often take its meaning for granted. Many of us simply think that liberty means freedom. Many of us actually have different definitions and understandings of what liberty means. And as we will learn in our lectures, liberty and freedom are not the same thing at all. Second, you should be able to describe the creation of the Constitution. Now, the idea of liberty had a profound meaning on the creation of our nation. How are the principles of liberty, as captured by our founders in the words of the Declaration of Independence, applied in the practical real-world application in our government through the words of the Constitution? Third, uh, you should be able to describe the three branches of government. Our founders were afraid of power being concentrated in the hands of too few people. Therefore, the power of governing in our nation was split between the legislative, executive, and judicial branches of government. We will learn how each of these branches functions and what powers they each have. The course material this week will focus on the judicial branch of government. Your midterm exam will consider all three branches of government. And finally, we'll continue to examine federalism. Now, power in our political system is also split between the states and the national federal government. We will learn why our unique federal system of government developed and how it impacts our lives. To help you prepare, we will also be taking a brief look at how to succeed on your midterm exam. This week, you will be reading two lectures and two case studies. First, Lecture A, A Guided Tour of Article 3 of the U.S. Constitution. Article 3 of the U.S. Constitution describes the powers of the Supreme Court, which is the head of the judicial branch of our federal government. This lecture will guide you through reading Article 3 of the U.S. Constitution one line at a time. Second, Lecture B, a thematic analysis of the judicial branch. In this lecture, we will consider the broader themes incorporated in the development of our judicial branch of government. Third, Case Study A, 25 Key Supreme Court Rulings. This case study will familiarize you with 25 key Supreme Court rulings from our national his history. And fourth, Case Study B, McCulloch v. Maryland and Marbury v. Madison. We'll be reading about two key Supreme Court rulings in our national history that still impact our lives. These two cases are McCulloch v. Maryland, decided in 1819, and Marbury v. Madison, decided in 1803. Additionally, this case study mirrors what you will be doing on your Week 4 assignment. This week, you will be participating in our class discussions, completing one written assignment, and taking your midterm examination. First, participating in the week four discussion, may it please the court. In this discussion, you will be presenting to the class an argument regarding an issue of federalism that is currently being discussed in contemporary American political discourse. Second, completing the week four assignment, Supreme Court ruling analysis. In this assignment, you will be guided through analyzing a key Supreme Court ruling. The object of this assignment is to give you the tools and experience to read and understand Supreme Court rulings, which have great impact on all of our lives. Finally, the midterm exam. You'll also take a midterm examination to demonstrate what you have learned thus far in the course. We will talk in more detail about your midterm in a few moments. As with all discussions and assignments, please be sure to read and follow the instructions very carefully. Please also take care to proofread your work. Keep your text professional and do not plagiarize. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor. This week, you will be reading the following. The Amendments of the U.S. Constitution. Your midterm will consist of five short essays. For each essay, you should write between 125 and 250 words. These are the objectives that we've covered so far in the course. Define liberty. Describe the creation of the Constitution. Describe the three branches of government. Examine federalism. Explain the electoral process. Discuss the evolution of the power of the presidency. The short essay questions on your midterm will be about these course objectives. 
Review the material of the first four weeks of the course and focus on how these course objectives have appeared throughout the material. Now some key hints. Write incomplete sentences. Focus on your own ideas and words. Do not plagiarize. Give yourself plenty of time and make sure you are answering the questions asked. It can be helpful to make an outline before writing your final response. Good luck on the midterm examination.